Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about Mary, the mother of Jesus, and last time, we talked about the origins and history of rosary beads. This time, how did the rosary itself come to exist? Almost 1,000 years passed between the ascension of Jesus and the first evidence that we have of the Hail Mary being said as a prayer. There are two Anglo-Saxon manuscripts in the British Museum, one of which is believed to date back as far as 1030 AD, which contain the two greetings that make up the beginning of the Hail Mary prayer, but it wasn't the Hail Mary as we know it today. Some early documents refer to this as the salutation of the Blessed Virgin, because originally, the prayer consisted only of the greetings of the angel and Elizabeth to Mary. Over the next couple of centuries, repeating the Hail Mary greeting became a common devotional practice, and eventually, people began to add small requests to the end of it. However, the final part of the Hail Mary, asking her to pray for us sinners, had become commonly accepted by the late 1400s to early 1500s. There are many old documents from around that time which contain the completed prayer. The Rosary, though, as a series of prayers, came into existence long before the 1400s, during the lifespan of St. Dominic, the late 1100s to the early 1200s. St. Dominic's main problem at the time was the Albigensian heresy of the Cathars, which we talked about in episode 358. Check the episode list in the video description. St. Dominic spent ten years trying to convert the Albigensians, but they refused to listen. It was at around this time that the Rosary began to be prayed, complete with meditations on the life of Jesus. The question of how this practice began isn't a matter of doctrine or official teaching. We're under no obligation to believe any specific explanation of how the Rosary as a meditation began. There is, however, one explanation found in the writings of Blessed Alain de la Roche, which he said that he saw in a vision. In his vision, St. Dominic was in a forest near Toulouse, France, praying and doing penance, pleading with Mary for guidance on how to bring the Cathars to Jesus. Mary then appeared to him, along with three angels, and revealed to him that the Trinity had chosen the prayer of the Rosary to use as a weapon for reforming the world. She said that the Rosary was valuable when prayed, but even more pleasing when used to meditate on the life of Jesus, and she explained how to meditate on the mysteries, to think deeply about each of the events in the life of Jesus, to visualize them and contemplate the virtues and lessons of each mystery. St. Dominic died in 1221 AD, but by that point, Albigensianism was no longer a serious threat. Next time, what was Lepanto? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.